Maybe it's winter. That was a song that didn't belong in the CP. Yeah, I, I pushed you so hard as soon as you sent me that initial chord progression. Yeah. I was like, V, so this is gonna be massive. I had that chord progression for years. Years. Just because, you even uh, showed me it when I, I feel like I lived in Amsterdam when you initially showed me that. It was supposed to be a canon. It's just between two chords, the G and the A. And it still is. If you listen to the guitars real carefully, when the right side starts playing, he plays a certain thing. And then when he changes, when the left one comes in, the left one plays what the right one was playing. And it's pretty much two guitars just the whole time. But yeah, this, oh, it was a really deep moment for me because I felt shit that day. I just, like the night before, yeah, I I'd found know. something out that I didn't want to know about. It was a real downer, man. Like, I think that's the you, lowest I've ever been. You could barely even talk on the phone to me. At that moment, I couldn't sleep, dude. I couldn't eat. I was dreaming about one thing and nothing else. Yeah, because uh, you're typically a pretty decently happy, chatty person yeah. most of the time, especially on the you know on the phone. We haven't talked for a while, and that I remember that one day specifically because you just couldn't even function. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't I don't remember that. Like I blanked out, but yeah, uh, there you go. I remember sort of waking up and then just sort of looking at myself in the mirror and I sort of stared at myself and I just sort of like I teared up, you know. Mm -hmm. I felt so bad, and. I had a really good chat with Rico because it was that was like the day that I had sunk the lowest and it just like there was nothing to do and like I just felt sad about my relationship status at the moment and I was missing someone really bad and I remember having a chat with Rico who mastered all the tracks and he told me something really cool and something really special he said life is cyclical after the summer comes autumn after autumn comes winter and after winter comes spring any time in your life when you're feeling down, you take it as the winter, you know? Mm -hmm. Take a break, take a step back, and then start preparing for the spring because it is coming. You may go through the harshest winters, but spring will follow, you know? And so... He's a wise man. He is a, he's a wise man. <laughs> and I remember thinking about what he was saying, and I was telling someone something. I was like, dude, you know, someone's like, well, what's up? I was like, yeah, I feel real shit. And I was like, you know, maybe it's maybe like the breakup I went through. Maybe it's the cold. Maybe it's just like my situation with my life, with my with work, with whatever. Or haha, ha, maybe it's just winter. And I, I remember trying to shrug it off like that. That's sort of where it came from. It's like, that's the course, isn't it? Maybe it's the cold. Maybe it's a toll for the sinner. But maybe it's just winter, you know? And that's sort of a nice sort of way to look at it. Maybe all this shit's going down, but maybe it's something so casual. It's something so casual that's gonna change. Winter becomes spring. And this, funnily enough, is, you know, in the beginning we chatted about how I like to be sarcastic and I like to have these, like, tongue-in-cheek jokes. Yeah. And the most emotional song of them all has these. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you which ones they are because they really, yeah, they really change the light of the song. They definitely do. But <laughs> one thing people always ask me is, like, what's up with the line, like, so I heard you're a calendar and stuff, which is just, like, metaphors. Like, I, I like how line. I... Like I hid behind those metaphors because these lyrics are the ones that really went the deepest for me. Like there's no secret that this whole EP is about girls, you know, certain girls in my life that I dealt with, and it's not just one or anything. You know what I mean? There's like there's different characters in here, and here's where one of them really makes an entrance, and it was someone who wasn't very nice to me, and it really made me think of the other person in such bright light because of the way the other treated me. And that was one of the deepest lines, like, I remember like breaking down a few times when I wrote it, when I sang it, when I was just like practicing and singing it to myself. It was like, she makes me miss you. And even now, like, I get goosebumps when I say that because and I don't think I've ever been so honest. It's like when someone really highlights the personality and character differences and puts on this comparison with someone else. And I was like, damn, she makes me miss you. Such a relatable line. Yeah, I think especially after you get out of breakup, you know, you... You're so comfortable in the way you are. You're so used to something and you sort of seek it out again. You're like, but this is how I roll. I want to see if I can find anyone on the same track. And you, you end up meeting a bunch of psychos. <laughs> you end up meeting a bunch of people and you're like, how were you raised? Like, what are you made of? You know, like, how do you think? And how can I ever, ever relate to you? And how is it that you make me feel so bad of making these decisions that have le led me to you? Yeah. It sucks. And maybe it's winter is like, I think it's an acknowledgement of that pain. It's an acknowledgement of regret, sadness, whatever. But it tells you, 
yo, it sucks, but we're moving on. And we're moving on together. Exactly. We're all moving on. It's cyclical and it comes back. And no matter who you are, where you are, you know, if this is the song for you, when you want to take that moment and prepare for the spring. And maybe it's the cold that slowed me down. Maybe it's the soul of a sinner. Or maybe it's the hole that showed me up. Gotta work it down. I just can't hang around.